Hey everyone, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be introducing a sensor that has three uh, parts embedded in the same part that's the accelerometer, magnetometer and the gyrometer and it's known as lsm 9 ds Now to gain more knowledge about that, uh, let's roll up on the website that is controlleverything.com and search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got. As you can see it's a 3D accelerometer, 3D gyroscope, 3D magnetometer and as you can see a long list of features for it and also you can purchase the sensor from here. I will be interfacing uh, the sensor LSM 90S0 with the Beagle One Black and the software platform will be C language and to get the code let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample. Now you can download the C code sample as a file from this web link and also you can have the code from github dot com and the repository there is control everything community now what do we require is to have a look over the setup regarding the hardware connections for the hardware connection setup first of all the requirement is the beagle bone black which you can see on my screen this here is an i2c shield it's available on the website control everything dot com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make easy connections with other i2c devices so for that we have to place this i2c shield over the beagle bone black and make a connection just like that now this here is our sensor that is lsm 9 ds 0 which is a 3d accelerometer gyrometer and magnetometer now this here is a connecting cable make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same for the i2c shield now we need to power up the beagle bone black and for that we have uh, two things to do and first of all this here is a mini USB cable just like that and make a connection for this jack just insert it here now the second part is to provide the power via uh, adapter which is a 5 volt as you can see and gently put it over the power jack here now the last part is to provide an internet connection and for that there are two ways and the first way is to provide the internet connection via an ethernet cable or a LAN cable as you can see and gently insert it over the ethernet jack. The second part you can also use a wireless nano USB adapter just like this. Now we have completed the set of connections for the hardware. Now what do we require is to have a look over the C code. Well in the interfacing part first of all the required thing is to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository there is control everything community uh, now here we have to search for the sensor as you can see on my screen it's 9ds0 for the reference and here we go now this here is the C code but let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill uh, we have to first of all connect and set up the beagle bone black and the relevant information regarding this setup has been provided on the link which is beagleboard.org and note it down and after that we have to download or get pull the code on the beagle bone black and to compile the c code this is the command and this is to run the c code note it down carefully after that get back to the c code and let's observe that it's a dot c extension file now in the code we have some of the libraries header files as you can see and in the void main function we have any create i2c bus as you can see it will check the authenticity of the bus and after that we have to get i2c device and the address of the sensor for the gyroscope gyrometer it's 0x6 now working on the writing section we have to select control list of one having address 0x20 and the command here we have to send is to x y and z axis enable power on mode and data rate output to be 95 hertz which is 0x0 and here comes the writing part then we have to select control list of 4 having address 0x23 and here we have to send command for full scale range uh, that is 2000 dps and continuous update which is 0x30 and the writing command is here after that we have a delay or sleep of one second and then we have to get data back from the sensor which commonly as uh, known as the reading part and we have we are getting as you can see six bytes of the data from the register uh, 0x28 and here we having the register starting from the x y and z axis now uh, continuing that we can see that here the x gyro then y gyro it's the part going on similarly from the 2b we have the y then from this part uh, 2c and 2d we have the z axis data we are reading it 
After that, the conversion of the data takes place, as you can see, for the three perpendicular axes, and the, all the data is being uh, taken care by the details provided in the data sheet for LSM 9DSCO. After this part, we come to the second part where we have the I2C device and the address of the LSM 9DS0 accelerometer and magnetometer, which is 0x1. Then we have the writing part. Uh, in this, we have to select control register 1 having address 0x20. And the command here is to send for x, y, z axis enable power on mode data rate output to be 100 hertz. And it comprises of 0x67, and the writing part is here. Then we have to select control register as you can see, uh, second, which is 0x21, and then we have a full scale selection range of plus minus 16g for the acceleration 0x20. And here comes the writing command, and then we have to select control list of 5 having address UX24 and here we are sending the command to select magnetic high resolution output data rate to be 50 Hz which goes for 0x17 writing command is here then we have to select control list of 6 having address UX25 and the command here is to select magnetic full scale selection range that goes to be plus minus 12 gauss and it's 0x16 writing command is here now the last uh, command to write is to select control list 7 having address UX26 and the command here we are going to send is for normal mode magnetic continuous conversion mode uh, and it's 0x00 the writing command is here then we have a sleep or delay function which is one second then we are going to read 6 bytes of data for the acceleration as you can see we are reading it from 0x28 and there is a uh, if condition which goes for that uh, if there is no data that it will print an error then similarly we are for 29th address then this is the for the data for the y axis then this is for the z axis acceleration data then the conversion of the data takes place here after that the magnetometer data passes and we are reading six bytes of the data for magnetometer this goes for 0x08 address as you can see for the x mag uh, it's the least uh, lsb data after that, we have the MSB data for X axis. Then we have the Y mag, Y axis data, and Z axis data for the magnetometer. The conversion of the magnetic data uh, for the three perpendicular axes takes place here. At the very end of our code, we have the output to be displayed on the screen, which you can see as the location in X, Y, Z axis, along with the acceleration in magnetic, uh, magnetic field uh, X, Y, Z axis, all the three perpendicular axes. So this is how it, these are the raw values. Let me tell you. Uh, it can be negative positive depending upon the uh, direction of the rotation acceleration and magnetic field so this is a very simple and generalized code as you can see now what do we require is to have a look upon the working conditions let's have it now coming to the working environment part uh, the first step is to copy this entire code as you can see on my screen and after that we have to open up the terminal for the beagle bone black as you can see on my screen and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen and let's see it's a .c file and then we have to paste the entire code we have just copied and then we have to save the code and this is the command as you have already seen in the instructions part for the compilation process and this is we have to follow as the compilation Thing. and let's see what we got here and the code has been compiled successfully and this is to run the command as you can see on my screen and here we go as you can see we have the rotation in the three perpendicular axis x y and z also we have acceleration and the magnetic field for the three perpendicular axis x y and z axis now when I again run the command we have the values again and one more time we have the values as you can see the values are almost constant because there is no change in rotation or acceleration or change in magnetic field just like that but when i try to move the sensor or rotate the sensor you can see the values for rotation and acceleration for three perpendicular axis changes and some values also changes for the magnetic field for all three axes it means there is a change and let me bring one more thing and we have a bar magnet and when I bring the bar magnet near to the sensor you can see the magnetic field changes 
it changes as per the rotation of the magnetic field in different direction of the bar magnet just like that the changes are reflected on the screen so this is how the sensor responds to the c code along with the beagle bone black now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits features and applications of the sensor lsm 90s0 the lsm 90s0 is a system in package featuring a 3d digital linear acceleration sensor a 3d digital angular rate sensor and a 3d digital magnetic sensor the lsm 90s0 has a linear acceleration full scale of plus minus 16g till plus minus 16g a magnetic full scale range till plus minus 12 gauss and an angular rate of plus minus 2000 degrees per second the lsm 90s0 include an i2c serial bus interface supporting standard and fast mode and an spi a serial standard interface due to these features the sensor lsm 90s0 is is useful in applications like indoor navigation smart user interfaces gaming and virtual reality input devices and display map orientation as you can see the sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase the sensor from here you can also have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would make it clear that for any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page for articles and blogs which are relevant to this video and the sensor you can go to instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can have a look over and subscribe our youtube channel i hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself thanks a lot thanks.